"'Twas a night before election and all through the town. Not a candidate was sleeping. Not one of those clowns. Hey, this is Eric from Another Voice with Eric and Friends. And uh, we, we won't be having our regular podcast this week. Uh, I'm working the election polls and things are just busy. But I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about some last minute information and some, and some tips for this election. Um, you know, since July, we have been presenting you who are these candidates, uh, introducing you to the different candidates. We've got a number of them that we talked to you about. We didn't get to all of them, and I'm disappointed about that. There are some local races that we weren't able to, to feature. Most of those, of course, were candidates that didn't have any opposition. They were incumbents. But there were some where there was, and I wish we'd gotten to them. But um, we also talked about the referendum on the Greenville County ballot about the 1% sales tax increase for roads. There are two other amendments on the ballot that I want to talk about briefly, and then I just want to give you some basic advice, some tips from me. <clears throat> the, the first amendment that you'll be voting on in South Carolina, deals with raffles. The state constitution considers raffles to be illegal lotteries. They're illegal gambling and they're not allowed to be done. Now, I know you and I have all participated in a raffle or a drawing, but it's illegal. The, this amendment would make raffles for nonprofit organizations that are doing it for charity or educational or other type purposes, they would make them legal. So to vote, if you vote yes on Amendment 1, you are voting to make raffles for non-profit non organizations legal. If you vote no, raffles of all kinds will stay illegal. The second amendment on the, on the ballot is uh, about the, the adjutant general's position. The Adjutant General is the head of the South Carolina National Guard, and currently the voters vote for that office every four years. The amendment would change that to make it an appointed position that the governor would appoint. So if you vote yes on Amendment 2, you'll be voting to change the selection of Adjutant General to an appointment by the governor. If you vote no, you keep it the same way it is now, and we will continue to vote for it. Now, I have stated, if you watched our podcast, listened to our podcast last week, you know that I have said that there's a lot of administrative offices that we, that we vote for that we probably shouldn't be. It should be an appointment, and this is one of them. So that's what's on the ballot. Now, just some general tips on voting, some general uh, pieces of advice or uh, things from me. Number one, please get out and vote. I saw a, a news report last night where they're predicting... 51 to 54 percent of le registered voters will turn out tomorrow to vote. Now, that's a big number when you compare it to our primary, recent primary, that only had 14 percent, but it's a small number. And it's even smaller when you consider what that percentage is of eligible voters, the people who could vote. It brings it below 50 percent. Folks, we're voting for two U.S. senators. This, we don't normally do that. We're voting for the governor, lieutenant governor, superintendent of education, uh, most House of Representative positions, some county council, some school board. We're voting for a lot of different offices. Plus, we have these amendments and the referendum about sales tax. And your vote counts. It makes a difference. You know, do you want your sales tax increased? Do you think we need to fix the roads and this is the way to do it? If you don't vote, and I know people say, well, my vote doesn't count, but it does. I don't know how many times I've recounted stories where the percentage was very close. We can go back to Governor Haley's when she was elected originally. In the primary, if one more person per precinct in Greenville County alone had voted for someone, the second place finisher, Governor Haley would not have been the candidate for governor. In that same election, in the general election, if the number of Democrats who voted in 2008 had come out and voted in 2010, we'd be seeing Vincent Shaheen trying to get reelected. Your vote counts. So please, go out tomorrow and vote. Second thing, know what you're going to vote on when you, get it, when, when you get to the booth. Take some time to, to look at who's on the ballot. We've got a very big ballot this, this year. It's lots of candidates, lots of things on there. 
and take a couple minutes today to go back and say, okay, I, this is the person I want to vote for. You can take a cheat sheets or notes, basically who you want to vote for or how you want to vote into the voting booth with you. You know, I had a, I do what I always do with my daughters and now my mom. We uh, sat down uh, Friday and w talked about all the candidates, talked about basic information, talked about the amendments, talked about the uh, referendum. I didn't give them my opinion. I just told them all they need to talk about it. And they asked questions and, and the, all three of them selected who they were going to vote for. Mom has the cheat sheet with her. She's, she's going to go vote and, and have that with her. You can do it too. Our show has information. There's lots of uh, opportunities out there for you to get information so that when you walk into that booth, you're not surprised by, oh, who's that? Um, so please, know what you're doing. Third, if you know somebody who needs to vote, please help them. Give them a ride if they need it. Help get people to the polls. Finally, when you go to vote, please understand that those people who were there are human beings. And they're going to make mistakes. Hopefully not many. Hopefully they'll keep them down and, and the processes and the, and the procedures that are in place will avoid many mistakes. But they're human beings and they're going to make mistakes. It's not a big conspiracy to throw the election. It's not about fraud. It's human beings making mistakes. So understand that. But also, if you, when you go vote, if there's a problem in your mind, if you think things are not being done right, if you think there's, a, there's an issue, don't wait and whine about it on Facebook or talk about it the next day. Do something right then. And here's what you can do. First, if you're not satisfied at your polling place, talk to the clerk, the person in charge of the polling place. Because we're all trained to do a good election. So go talk to them. If the problem you're having is with the clerk, or you don't think you're getting the, the response that you should, every polling place in Greenville County will have a phone number posted on the wall that goes to the voter registration office. Take that number and call the voter registration office. I can tell you right now that Conway Belongia, the director of elections, wants to fix things. In the primary, uh, there are many different ballots even in, within a precinct, you may have three, four, five different ballots. And at one precinct, or two precincts, the clerks were making a mistake and giving the wrong ballot to people early in the morning. But somebody, rather than waiting or whining or waiting, got contacted the office. And they fixed it so that it didn't occur all day long. And it was fine the rest of the day. So call the office. Or go down to the uh, university center where the county registration office is. If you think there's a problem, folks, I can guarantee you that the majority of people that are working these polls from the office down to the actual precinct want a good election. They don't care which sides win, though they may have personal feelings of what they want to happen, but their job is to have good, solid elections. So talk to people and, and, and if you have a problem, deal with it right away. All right, folks, I hope you have a great day tomorrow voting. Get out there. Let your voice be heard. Oh, one other thing. One other thing. There's an idea that voting is about a popularity contest or I got to vote for who's going to win. Folks, voting is really simple. Voting is you expressing your voice about what you want to happen in your country, your state, your county, your city. So many, one of the problems with third party candidates not getting traction is because people think, well, they can't win. Well, they can't win because people think they can't win. And they think the idea is I got to vote for someone who's going to win. But we've had third party candidates win. We've had candidates that people thought were going to win and they lost. Voting's not about, oh, who's going to win? It's about what you believe should be done. And if that means you write someone's name in because you don't like the two candidates or three candidates or whatever many candidates, that's fine. And even if your guy or your gal doesn't win, you didn't fail. You expressed your view. That's what voting is. So I hope you get out tomorrow and express your view. All right, this has been another voice with Eric and Friends. You can normally hear our podcasts Mondays at canigetawordin.com. 
You can find us on, on Facebook at Another Voice with Eric and Friends. Go to Twitter at Be Another Voice or uh, YouTube at Be Another Voice. And until we get out, meet again, get out in your community and make a difference.